Hey you guys, it's Tanya. What's going on? <laughs> How's everyone out there doing? Um, let me go ahead and just jump right into the video. Um, first of all, as you can see by my background, I am back to the hotel up in Cleveland, Ohio. And um, yeah, I was home this weekend and it was awesome. But again, a girl's got to work, so it is what it is. And it is early in the morning. I am trying to get myself ready for work, but I was like, you know what, Tanya, stop what you're doing, make a video real quick, and get to it, and then get to work. So, here I am. I wanted to show you guys my shorter do, which I am absolutely loving. Um, short, shout out to Candy, who is my stylist here, in, well, there in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I am such a nut when it comes to my hair, and when I try to describe what I want done to my hair, it honestly makes no sense. And Candy somehow figures out what I want, and then she does it. So I am so happy with my hair. Um, the length, like I said before, is we're, we're trying to get it all to one length. And I think that this length complements my face so much better than when I have longer hair. Um, and this, this length, when it's straightened, is kind of like the length almost the length where I wear my hair when I was relaxed because again I think it complements my frame a lot better so I'm very happy with this I love the shape I know it's really big and poofy right now but I just finished massaging my scalp with some oils that I put together I'm um, just give myself a good a good pre poo massage before I go in there and wash it um, but I wanted to show you the cut from the back oh my goodness it's just so much shorter in the back the front there really isn't that much of a difference, maybe an inch or two, maybe, but the back is where a lot of hair was cut off, and I am okay with that. Um, my hair grows so fast, it is really not a problem, you guys. I, I love this haircut. I might actually keep this for a while. Who knows? So, um, anywho, what I wanted to say to you guys is that I am going to start doing more videos, I promise. I'm going to make myself be more, um, should I say, rigid, and, and have a set a set schedule for doing videos. I'll figure that out sometime in the next couple of weeks and, and then I'll stick to it, okay? Alright, so what else I want to tell you is, oh, um, I traveled from Louisville, Kentucky up to Cleveland yesterday and I made some pit stops on the way and I stopped at the Target in Cincinnati, Ohio. There's a Target there that had, like what I do a lot of times when I'm traveling is I go to my Target app and I'll put in one of the one of the more hard to find products like um, Camille Rose. I'll put in Camille Rose on my Target app, and then I'll say find it in the store. And what happens is the Target app will show you all the targets in that city, and then it'll show you the the targets that have that product in stock. And there were only two targets in the whole part of Cincinnati that had the products that I was looking for, and they were the black targets. <laughs> And so I picked one in the one that was closest to I-71 and just went into it. Um, I'll put the information for that Target down below because I don't remember it offhand. But I go into that Target and it's so funny you guys because there was a white guy in there getting dog, getting kinky curly conditioner for his babies. Um, his wife's black and they have two biracial children and he was saying how kinky curly is the only product that works for their hair at keep and controlling the fizz. And so we start talking about hair because you guys know just from watching these videos I am a talker. I'm a social butterfly. And so I suggested he get this Jane Carter Creamy Styling Serum, which works really good in one of my cousin's daughter's hair, who's also biracial, and her hair is prone to frizz. And they had, and I showed, he showed me a picture of his babies, and I showed me a picture of my baby, well, my cousin's baby, and they had similar hair. So we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it works for him. Well, I digress. Well, I'm not digressing. I take that back. Keep it moving. So I, then I'm, I'm looking some more in the section because the section, and if you, I, I now have Instagram, you guys, so my Instagram handle is the same as on here, Tanya1031-2000. But if you look at my Instagram picture from yesterday, which was September the 3rd or 4th, um, you'll see the stock of what they have at that Target in Cincinnati, which we don't have hardly any of that stuff at home in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, we have Kinky Curly and Shea Moisture and some Jane Carter, that's about it. This place had... Um, the full Shea Moisture line, it had um, Camille Rose, it had Karen's Body Beautiful, um, Jesse, Miss Jesse Curl, and some other stuff. So it was a really good um, natural supply target. Well anyway, while I'm there, 
a lady stops me and she's like, hey, I, I, and I'm looking at her and I'm like, yeah, she's like, aren't you, you have videos. And I'm like, yes, I do. And come to find out her name was Danielle. I'm not going to say her last name because only people say my last name, especially if I haven't given them permission to. So I'm not going to say her last name because I didn't think to ask her for, if I could use her last name. But Danielle is the owner of the Honey Hut in Cincinnati, Ohio. So shout out to Danielle. What up, girl? How you living? Um, Danielle, again, is one of the co-owners of the Honey Hut, which is a natural hair store in Cincinnati, Ohio. So if you live in Cincinnati, if you're close to Cincinnati, definitely check her out. Um, again, the store is called the Honey Hut. She also has Instagram, um, and I believe it's called the Honey Hut. But again, I'll put the information below because I don't remember. But you'll see a picture of both of us on on my Instagram feed and it's so funny because we just ran into each other and we just started talking and so um, she's working on getting products that you can't get at Target into her store um, and she has watched a lot of my videos we talked we had a good time I had to leave because I had to come you know I had to get back up to Cleveland for work and I had other stops to make but we had we talked for a good 30 to 40 minutes I know we did and Danielle it was so great talking to you um, I had a really good time and I you I just want you to know that you renewed my I guess spirit for natural hair because I haven't been doing videos hardly at all in the past couple of months because I've been so crazy busy and you renewed that so thank you just just talking to you and realizing that I actually help people and people watch the videos really was the jolt that I needed so thank you girl okay now next thing is you guys I had a ball shopping for natural hair products at Target's coming up I-71 to Cleveland. I'm not going to show you today what I bought, <laughs> but I will show you what I bought. One of the things I bought during Labor Day sale, My Honey Child. You know how much I love My Honey Child. And I really didn't do that many videos for My Honey Child, so I'm going to do better this time. I still have the hair do right that she gave me to do a um, review on that I haven't used. Um, the reason why I haven't used it is because I feel like this is not going to really work not that's not, that's not what I wanted to say. I feel like this is gonna probably be better on my cousin's hair than my hair because my hair is thicker and coarse and it's like a, a lotiony material, lotiony material, lotiony substance. But I'm gonna use it anyway because I want number one. She gave it to me to review on, so she wouldn't have given it to me if she didn't think it didn't work on my hair. So I'm gonna use it. So review on this coming up soon, you guys. Um, I also bought some more stuff. I already had the Honey Love moisturizer, which I love this stuff. This reminds me of the Basque. Um, apple sorghum but I, I love this product on my hair my hair swears by it um, but I also bought because this is the honey love moisturizer I also own the honey love lock so since I own the honey love products I know they work really good on my hair I bought the honey love pomade which is if you can see that it's like a it's like a thicker lotion and I'll do reviews on all the stuff I promise I bought the Honey Love Lock Mist, which is just a curl refresher, and I also bought the Honey Love Mature Lock Gel, because I'm, I'm going to use this for twist. Um, and I just love the Honey Lock smell. Goodness gracious. And I also bought, because I need a good deep conditioner, and it's funny because when I went home this past weekend for Labor Day, I gra literally grabbed another container of my Basque Cacao Bark. Why did I leave it at home? I left it at home because the, the last day before I left, I put it back under the cabinet because I don't like this order. And it was on the countertop and I didn't like it there. So I forgot about it. So luckily, this, because I, I had this shipped to the hotel, I got some organic shea butter hair paste, which is a deep conditioner. So I'm looking forward to have a different, uh, trying another moisturizing deep conditioner, hopefully, that I can add to my hair, my hair grail because I only have one, which is the Basque um, cacao bark. That's all I have. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, I just wanted to show you some things that came in the mail. And let me tell you about shipping. I ordered this stuff on Monday, you guys. I ordered it on Monday. It was here waiting for me yesterday, which was Thursday when I got here. The flip. So anyway, but yeah, I, I'm not going to even show you yet the stuff I bought on, on my trip up yesterday. Because you're going to be like, oh my gosh, she's going to have so much fun. And I want you to know that when I buy products... I buy products not really for myself because I know it works on my hair. I can look at the ingredients and see how they're going to work on my hair. But I also have cousins who have children who I, I love I love giving them products. I love giving them things that are going to work for their hair and their child's hair because 
we have con at this point now I have two female cousins who are natural also and all their kids are natural so we I love giving them products to help them through their journey and their children's journey because those are my babies so yeah it's a um, shout out to my cousins I'm not gonna say their names so they might choke me <laughs> but anyway that's enough for this video you guys I promise I'm gonna do reviews on all this stuff I'm getting ready to get into the shower and do my hair and do some quick twists probably or maybe just like a little um, single back puff so I can go to work because I don't want to be late for work because I have things to do today but I just want to talk to you guys and give you guys a shout and just say what's up you guys and you know what guess what <laughs> I holla bye you guys and yeah it's my cell phone so you're going to see me as I turn the cell phone off uh yeah sorry about that <laughs>